हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज अपडेट सेट राइट सो अपडेट सेट हेल्प यू टू ट्रांजिट योर कॉन्फ्रिगेशन और कस्टमाइजेशन फ्रॉम वन इंस्टेंस टू अनदर इंस्टेंस राइट सो लेट से यू आर अ डेवलपर राइट एंड यू हैव डन सम कॉन्फ्रिगेशन चेंजेज and let's say you have write uh, written some uh, script definitely after uh, performing a testing and uh, uat step uh, you want to migrate your changes to a development environment to qa environment and from qa environment to production environment so how you will be doing it right so as of now uh, if you have watched my previous video then we have done so many configuration right we have created a dictionary we have created a choices value we have created a, a reference uh, value right these all are a configuration as of now we have sorry we have not written any script but we have done some configuration right we have made uh, changes on the form we have created uh, form section so these all changes if all looks okay and later on we want to migrate our changes to other instance how we will be doing so service now have a module called update set right so everything which you are doing it could be a uh, your configuration or customization that will get captured in your update set so you have to make sure before i start your work you have to create your update set and you are capturing all the necessary changes on that update set right so let's say many developer are working on the same instance so you have to make sure that means your update set is selected before making any changes related to your story or enhancement right so uh, um, from here in the filter navigator we can just type uh, update set or you can type a local update set okay so under the system update set we can find uh, this uh, hmm, menu called local update set so here it will give you the list of all the update set present in the system as of now only three it is available it's a, like a demo instance right it's a pdi so as of now i have not created any so uh, let's create our first update set fine so how will do so so first you have to just navigate to local update set just remember this module and uh, here new button is there right so just click on the new button and uh, naming convention it will get followed based on your uh, um, client or organization for which you are working for if they have a uh, update set naming convention then uh, you have to follow that one but actual uh, naming convention uh, um, like a uh, default naming convention i would say that uh, if you are working on any uh, story then give the, your a uh, story uh, story number over here okay and then uh, what you have to type you have to just uh, um, give a short description little bit so what is a story uh, what is uh, a story you are working on like on which a story you are working on what is the functionality little bit uh, little um, two or three words you can just type in so let's say of uh, i'm just doing a form customization so i'll be doing a form customization right and then i'll be uh, writing my name uh, let's say runje patel and then i'll be giving a version uh, 0 0.1 right so this will be the first version so this is the format you just can maintain okay so it's up to you and if your organization is following any naming convention update set naming convention that you have to follow that is the very very important one fine so uh, this is the one and now uh, you have now option two option submit and submit and make current so there is, is a different submit if you are clicking then by it will get record will get saved but by default if you want to make uh, this uh, update set as selected update set then you have to click it submit and make current i will click on submit and make current and we will see over here right i have showcased you that how where we can see here we can see the global application 
means all the application we will see but uh, the selected one we can see if we want to change it we can click and we can change it similar way uh, we have updates it now you can see here uh, ju just now i have created this one and now it is got selected over here so only two uh, it is saying but the this is the one it got selected and if we want to see what are the things got captured as of now just click over here and we can see custom updates as of now nothing is captured right but if we are doing any configuration or any customization we will see that in com upcoming classes we will be doing uh, uh, some configuration we will be writing some script we will check that how it is getting captured over here right so let me showcase you one example uh, okay so let me open an incident so that you will be aware that uh, how update set works so let's say uh, i'm just opening a incident one again and uh, here in this incident uh, i'm just going to open this dictionary again right click and go for dictionary and uh, here i'll be making some changes although this is the not uh, uh, best practice but uh, what i'm going to do i'm just going to make this as a mandatory and i'm going to update it right fine so this is the change which i have done right right now as you can see here now it's become mandatory and if i will see now in update set then you can see here now got it so this got captured so whenever if i will migrate this one to other instance this will get uh, carry forward this incident uh, dictionary right but uh, choices will won't get carry forward right so uh, there is some limitation to get captured in uh, update set so if you are doing any changes like let's say configuration so configuration changes if you are doing so this is the configuration changes just now which i have done i have not written any script any if you are doing a customization means you are writing your own code or writing some logic that is the customization which you will be doing right so that will also get captured over here but if you are let's say if you are creating a new uh, record incident then that will not get capture over here you got it so if i want to capture this record in update set then uh, externally we have to do there is a one more plugin comes uh, from service now uh, once you enable that here link will uh, start appearing that catch capture in update set something so that you have to do but by default it won't get captured if i will save this one this won't get capture fine so if i will save this uh, i will showcase you just now i have saved it right so now this option is selected if i will refresh it no nothing get captured so data will not get captured only configuration and customization will get capture so let's say we are done with our changes right so now we want to migrate from this let suppose this is our dev instance and other instance we have uh, which is let's say qa instance on in qa instance we want to migrate this change how we will do so so first you have to complete this okay so just change the status to complete and save this fine now uh, this uh, updates is now available for the transition so now you have a couple of options that uh, whether you want to back out back out means whatever changes you, you have done you want to completely ruled out then you just click on the back out over here and uh, in order to migrate because uh, um, here uh, this changes we wanted to migrate in the QA instance so how you will do we have a option called export to XML so if you will do export to XML XML file will get download for you so this is the file uh, which get downloaded we'll see that now uh, mm, okay so now we have downloaded now what you have to do we have to open uh, your QA instance so let's say this is our QA instance although this is not a QA instance just in a hypothetical scenario just uh, consider this is a uh, QA instance fine so in this instance we wanted to load our changes apply our changes so what we have to do then 
इन सेम नेविगेशन यूज एप्स टाइप रिट्रीव अपडेट सेट ओके वी हैव अनदर ऑप्शन कॉल्ड रिट्रीव अपडेट सेट सो हेयर वी हैव टू क्लिक एंड हेयर इट विल गिव द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द अपडेट सेट विच यू हैव अपलोडेड अज एप नाउ देर इज नो अपडेट सेट अपलोडेड सो वट आई कैन डू आई विल जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस रिलेटेड लिंक एंड आई विल चूज अ माई फाइल सेलेक्ट राइट एंड देन क्लिक ऑन द अपलोड ऑप्शन Fine. So now, as you can see here, now a state is right now loaded, and what you have to do again, you have to open this one, and you have to uh, preview it, right? So here a preview option will come. So here it will show you the hundred percent success, right? So now close this. Now it will show you how many changes you have. So insert is zero. Update we have one total one because update. Um, Update is there because we are applying in same instance, right? If you will apply in the new instance, then insert will come. And if you will find any error while uh, uh, running a preview, then error uh, it will start here appearing over here. It will tell you that uh, this is error. You have to fix it in order to commit the changes. So in our case, it is uh, it is not there because only one changes we are going to apply. And then finally, we have to do the commit update set now so it will commit so now 100% succeed and close it fine so this is a, a process which you have to follow to migrate your changes from one instance to another instance there is one more thing uh, in let's say you are in the queue instance so what we can do instead of downloading we don't want to download it so uh, directly we want to migrate our changes from one instance to another instance so how we will do so for that we have a update source right so update source we have to uh, go to update source this uh, module okay and you have to first create one uh, profile over profile or remote instance record so let's say we wanted to migrate from dev then type you have to select dev right and then here you have to specify your uh, dev url so let's say this is our qa uh, um, let's say this is our qa instance and uh, for dev instance we have uh, let's say instead of nine we have uh, um, three sorry this way we have got it and then username and password you have to provide it and uh, test connection once you test it then uh, here uh, your success message will come and it will create a record for you and then you will get an option to uh, take an update uh, from your this instance fine unfortunately i don't have any other instance otherwise i could have shown you but this is a uh, you can try you can opt for two instance and you can uh, give a try it will work for you fine so um fine so this is all about the update sets migrating uh, from one instance to another instance right so in upcoming class uh, we will see that how we can in upcoming class basically i will showcase you uh, with um, um, right from a scratch like uh, creating uh, tables and creating a menu all these thing over here uh, we can create our own application under the global application so that we can have a full visibility on applying a every type of a script right thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video